There are a few essential things our bodies need to boost our immune system and stay healthy, especially in a colder season. Me and my family use Z-Stack, Z-Detox, and Z-Flu developed by the great Dr. Zelenko, who has a place in history for his tremendous life's work. With every purchase of Z-Stack or any other of Dr. Zelenko's products, you also support the Zelenko Freedom Foundation in their tireless work to bring back medical truth and freedom to everyone. To save on your Z-Stack order today, use coupon code INSPIRED. Please find the link to order down below. Hey, hey, Inspire Tribe, my fellow freedom lovers, it's John Nolan here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting and for subscribing and hitting the notifications button so you'll get notified about new videos every day. Please check your subscription. There are shenanigans going on. All right, here's the big question that's been out there for such a long time. Is David Icke a Freemason? Is David Icke controlled opposition? These rumors have been around for a very long time and it's important that we really go into the depths of this. First let me tell you this, there are two ways to discredit David Icke and they come from different camps but they are aimed at doing the same thing. The first camp is mainstream and the mainstream is of course not asking whether David Icke is a Freemason or not but the mainstream is saying he's the lizard guy, he's the guy who says that the the queen and, and the royal family are all reptilians and that the world is run by lizard people. That's all you need to say and people are laughing about it and have been for a very long time. They've come around since, but that's how the mainstream does it. How does the alternative media world uh, do it? How do, how do people discredit him within the truth and freedom movement? Well, they say David Icke is controlled opposition and he's a Freemason. They show pictures and they think this is evidence. Today, we would like to put this rumor to rest, but we won't just talk about it. Let's listen to David Icke, Gareth Icke, and Jamie Icke, his two sons, in their own words, going into the depths of this rumor, what it means, and what the truth is. There are lots of theories out there about different things, and there's one that makes me laugh, and me and Jay talk about it regularly, is the fact that we're all Freemasons. The Freemason stuff, because I've gone back to some of these people, and I've said to them, you know, like, what is, what is your evidence for this nonsense? and they seem to show the same picture, so hopefully we can show them now. There's one picture where they say this is of Ride, Ride on the Isle of Wight, Ride Lodge, and this is you with them. It's a dreadful Photoshop, so we see that. But actually this photo is from somewhere up north, isn't it, Dad, I think? I think. So, yeah. so if you can show the original now, right, so you see just how bad a Photoshop this is. That's amazing, that. I mean, I'm not the best at Photoshop, but, but that's particularly bad, even for me. My favourite is this one, though, because Dad is the happiest Freemason in this one. Yeah. This is a great, it's a great but picture. That's straight off one of my books, isn't it, that, that head? The head is, yeah, they just put it on, that's great. But, but of the images that they show, there is one which is genuine, and you, you were sat in the, I want to say the Grand Wizard's chair, but I don't know if that, that sounds like The Worshipful Harry Masters, Potter. I think they that's call it, it, something like that. That's it. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was, that was funny, and, and, you know, when I see them using it to, uh, to say this is evidence he's a Freemason, it, it's almost hysterical. What happened is, I was, a long time ago now, I was speaking in Boston, Massachusetts. Now, I knew Boston, Massachusetts had a big Freemasonic Lodge. I wanted to go down and see it. So I went down with about maybe three others, um, and I wanted to see the symbolism on the side, which there was symbolism. And we stood there, and the door was open, right? So we had a look inside, and there was this big, enormous kind of opening hall and down the right-hand side, it was all like um, glass cabinets. And I saw Walt Disney's mentioned in there. I saw the Jack Malay Society, um, which Bill Clinton was a member of. And we looked across to the, it was a reception, I think it was over there. And there was no one there. So I thought, well, keep walking, see what happens. So we walked across this hall, nobody. Then there's this big, um, like, grand staircase at the end going uh, to the next floor. We walked up that. And we were looking at each other because where is everybody, right? And in this whole time we were in there, we met one guy and he seemed to be to do with some building work or something. So we walked um, on the first floor and eventually came to this big door, big, big two doors, pushed them open. And we're in this big temple, right? With the, the twin pillars and all the garbage that they have. And there's the worship for master's chair. So what am I going to do? Yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm in my Adirak, I'm not in my regalia, I'm in my Adirak, I've just come off the street. So I sat, I sat in the chair and I did it that, you know, and I used that. I, I was trying to hide it, you see. Yeah. 
because yeah. I didn't want anyone to know I was a Freemason. So I used it in my talks around the world for about two years. <laughs> and uh, it always got a great laugh, of course, because the, the irony of me sitting in the Worth of Master's chair doing that. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't roll my trouser leg up, though. I was supposed to do that, I think. But it's, uh, it's, it's funny um, and it's pathetic, but it's also sad um, because I see people in the alternative arena, or they think they are, who are telling people to wake up. They've got to wake up. Why can't you see it? And yet they are saying Ike's a Freemason and you're a Freemason, whatever, with no evidence whatsoever and just believing it. And, you know, when, um, when you're you, in any way streetwise, what you say is the question that people need to ask all the time. Who benefits? Who benefits from me believing what, whatever it is, whoever it is, is, is telling me? So let's apply it to this. Uh, this guy's been uh, doing this for 31 years. Um, he's taken enormous abuse and ridicule year after year, decade after decade, uh, to expose a cult, a global cult, that didn't want exposing. Obviously, it didn't. That's why it, it operates in secrecy. The, who has exposed the methods of mass psychological manipulation that allow them to advance their agenda that's exposed what that agenda is, which has turned out not to be a diversion, but actually to be true, because that's what's happening now. And then uh, websites appear and personalities appear, and they say, you know that guy, he's done all that, he's controlled opposition, he's a Freemason, right? And there's one website that's stuck, because I don't look at this stuff very much, but someone sent me a, a website, and it's actually targeting, not just me, you, Jay, and every major figure in the alternative media in this country and even further afield, I think, um, to demonize them and to seek to discredit them. Yeah. So let's come back to the question. Who benefits from that? Yeah. Well, obviously, it's that which they are exposing who benefits from that. So what the streetwise do is they ask that question and they looked at this, web, this website and they look at these people who are putting this stuff out with no evidence and they say, hold on a minute, who are you? Why are you doing this? Who are you connected to? Why are you doing things that benefit that which you claim to oppose? Yeah. So who's the real controlled opposition? And this is what uh, people who are uh, aware of how this thing works do. And that's why vast majority of people, um, you know, just, just don't believe this nonsense. Of course, because it is nonsense. But, but, but then you've got these people that just believe it because they've heard it. You know, you, you get people who, who, who won't come on this show uh, to promote their, their view and what they're doing because Ike's a Freemason. Well, I'm not, you know what I mean? Yeah. And by the way, if you're gonna accept that without question and no evidence, then maybe we should look at what you're saying about other things in another light, because you're obviously not forensic in your research. All right, I'm glad you watched this with me and I'm glad we heard it from the man's own mouth. What he's saying, it doesn't just make total sense, but let me put it this way. And let me say this because a lot of these things apply to many other people. If David Icke were a controlled opposition, then he would be pushed to steer people in a certain direction. That's what controlled opposition is for. It's to steer them somewhere specific where the establishment, the elites, the cabal wants the people to be. But that's not what is happening here. David Icke has always said, and is saying more than ever, free your mind, free your spirit, be who you really are. You're not the labels, you're not the race, you're not this. You are infinite awareness, consciousness, having a human experience. And that, my friends, cannot be bottled and boxed in. That is pure freedom. And that's what he's been teaching. That's what he's been speaking about. That's what he's dedicated his life to. So once and for all, I trust that we can put these ludicrous and insane rumors to rest 
and realize that David Icke is really the godfather of this truth movement, although he doesn't want this title, but that's what he represents. And he doesn't want followers. I know this because I spoke to the man even off camera, and all he wants is for people to step into their heart, to live through the spirit. Let's do it. And that's how we support this band man, now banned in 26 countries and more around the world. That's how we support the message by living true to spirit. All right, tribe, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for joining us. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll be back with you again very, very soon. We're more dedicated than ever to provide authentic, truthful, and uncensored information and inspiration. That's why we created the Inspired Community on the free speech platform Locals. There is no censorship, a free flow of information, and it's more personal and intimate. And you can join us as a free member or a paid supporter. Please visit inspired.locals.com and join us today.